Hello. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, welcome to an unboxing first impressions video with me, Gourmet Pens. This pen was actually acquired for me because I ordered it from Applebaum Pennin. The pen inside is an Aurora. So, wait, there's a part here that I want to keep. Um, thank you to Yoast for securing this pen for me. So I actually got this pen. This is purchased by me. And it is the Aurora 88 Urano. And so they say cap and barrel in light blue Oroloid, rose gold plated trims, limited and numbered edition, 18 karat solid rose gold nib. It took a long time for me to get it because I requested a stub nib. And so Aurora actually makes all their nibs in house. So I had to wait for it. And I'm known for my patience, so it was not a problem. I have number 851 of 888. This packaging is absolutely ridiculous and I hate it. <laughs> okay, I actually forgot to look up the price of this one, so let me do that now. Um, they are, they are, let me see. Uh, like 700 euros or something like that, 600 euros. Okay, I can't find it on the fly. You're just gonna have to find it yourself. But they're not inexpensive pens. They are pretty pricey. So like the regular Aurora 88 is like 440 euros. Um, the, the one after this, the Saturno is 595. Okay, so let's look at like 595. So this is the box. It's got a metal box inside. This is huge. It is magnetic, but be careful when you open it. It came with a bottle of ink, which I took out and I, I'm sorry, and stuff in the base. It's got like the usual, you know, like, here's your Aurora booklet, all that stuff, whatever. Nobody cares about the packaging. Well, not as much as the other stuff. I hate this box. It's, I mean, it's very elegant, like it's really nice, but it's so big. And for somebody who moves a lot, having giant pen boxes is sort of a pain. So enough of that. That is the box. You want to see the pen? This is the pen. Now, I used to have the Mari Adriatico, if I pronounce that correctly, which had sterling silver trim. It was too heavy for me, and um, I just never really used it that much. I had a medium nib, didn't care for it. It was, it was expensive, and this is like a nice alternative for me. It's much lighter. I had a stub nib on it, which I enjoy way more than the medium. So I'm pretty happy with it. Like, it's a, it's a good compromise for me. Now... Um, as I said, it's got rose gold trim. It's kind of hard to tell it's rose gold because with the blue body, it really cools it down. So it's like, it just looks like, like yellow gold, I guess. So there you go. That is that. Let's take a quick look at the nib. As I said, it's a stub, 18 karat. Piston filler with an ink window and a hidden reservoir in the hollow piston, which means you have a pretty decent ink capacity. So these will write for a long time. There's that material, it's flecked, it has green veins in it. I think it's very beautiful, it's always appealed to me. But again, the, uh, the limited edition I used to have was just too heavy. And it had a silver section, which was not bad, it's just that made it heavy. And I didn't really use it that much, so anyway. I had sold it, and now I have this one, and I'm happy with this one. So let's take a quick look at how it writes. There's really not a whole lot to say other than that. Yeah. Okay. I'll quit my rambling now, but because this is my pen, it's more of like a let's just have fun with it. Um, take a look at it type thing. So let's do a writing sample. I'll see you in a second. Hello to the written bits of words that are coming ahead. What? She doesn't know what she's talking about. Uh, welcome to the writing portion of the Aurora 88 Urano. I think this lighting shows the color better. You can see there's a lot of green in the pen. Um, it's slightly see-through, so you can see that there's ink in there. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty neat. I, I enjoy it. Nice ink window. Got a four, no, sorry, 18 karat stub nib that is made in-house by Aurora. And I am really pleased that they are still doing that because there's not a lot of companies that are making their own nibs. It's really cool that they still do that. I find it quite comfortable. It's a nice size, really nice balance. It does post, should you wish to post. I have to zoom out for this. So it does post, but isn't it just a beauty? Yes, it is. Okay, 
So let's do a writing sample. We've got the I know it's a bit blown out here with the lights, but hopefully that'll adjust soon. This is the Aurora 88 Murano. That is a serious stub. It is definitely a stub. It's smooth enough that you don't have it catching. It does have a little bit of feedback, but I think it's an excellent nib. I really enjoy it. Medium wet. The ink is... Diamine Soft Mint Now These are not the most inexpensive pens and They're not um, Like it's not the most simple pen like you might not like this material there are black ones and stuff like that but what i will say is of all the aurora nibs i've ever used which is quite a few they have all performed really well so whoever is tuning their nibs i am very pleased about that because they're doing a good job so that's pretty cool they have a bit of feedback not an unpleasant feedback but you can kind of hear it it's not scratchy at all. Um, you can remove the nib unit for easy cleaning. If I sound biased, it's because I am, because I purchased this pen because I wanted it. So there you go. I'm just writing nonsense. I think it's a great nib for daily use. Excellent for adding just a little character to your writing. I'm really pleased with it. And I'm really happy with Aurora for, you know, doing stuff that not every company is doing. You know, they're making their own nibs. They still offer a decent selection of nibs. I'm really happy that they do that because that's half the fun of fountain pens for me. So there you go. That is the Aurora 88 Urano with a stub nib. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Applebaum for getting this pen for me. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed, I would love it if you would like and subscribe and maybe check out some other videos. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. And don't forget you can use my discount code at applebaum.com no commission just a sweet deal for you just sharing it with you all right thank you again for watching we will see you next time bye bye